Hello and welcome to the new Power Query tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how a very simple functionality from a beginner's perspective as to how to count rows. Sometimes you know when you are importing the data set you may be wondering like how many rows are really present in my data set and in that scenario this function becomes really really helpful and I'll show you how you can configure this so that you are not losing your original data. Okay. Before that, just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel, then you should know about this uh, Power BI uh, sheet, the Google sheet for which the link is present in description. So here each of my Power BI video title is present that way you can easily search any of my video and then using the link which is present in column B, you can jump on to that. Also, as you can see, I'm maintaining the uh, beginner or uh, advanced or intermediate level complexity level so just so that based on where you are you can plan your learning and then you have the topic category as well which I'm trying to populate like whether it is DAX, data visualization, power query what it is. So a complete help to you to, to, to support your learning journey. With that let me come back to Power Query and uh, in the home, I let me bring the Excel workbook and Excel workbook is nothing but my Superstore data set for which also the link is present in description. So it's a data set folder where you can find the Power BI folder in which the data set is present. So it takes a couple of seconds because it is it is a little bit large data set like with 10,000 rows with many columns so you can see and you click OK right as you click OK the data will come in couple of seconds into this model or into the power query for so over here here is what the data set is right and then in the transform I have the option of counting the rows so if I simply click on count the rows what it gives me that it has these many rows, right? A lot of rows, as you can see over here. So, um, but if let's say we want to make sure that we are not losing the old the data set, so for that I'll just undo that step. What I do is I'll right click, come over here, do the duplicate, and then click on the count rows, right? That way, if I want to maintain the count of rows for a reference perspective, I can always count it. I have the data set over here, but in the duplicated sheet, I have my rows count. That way, it becomes really easy for me that as and when the changes are happening, I can go and look at what are my row count. And even I can right click and uh, rename this and say uh, sheet one or table, whatever the name of the table is, sheet one row count right so something very helpful for easy reference and making sure that from the system when it is getting the data rows are properly added right so that's what i wanted to show you as to how very simply as a beginner you can count the rows and keep it as a separate sheet and always keep it as a reference for keep uh, continuous validation of rows with that thank you so much and uh, i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic